This is gonna sound a little bit stupid, but today we're gonna cut the grass and you're gonna watch. But before we get started, we need to make sure there's not anything we're going to run over and we're gonna take a second to admire this rich person's vehicles. But apparently if I run anything over, it damages the lawnmower and the people get mad because I broke their crap. Found the first crap to pick up and luckily it stands out, so it's not hard to find. And we can sprint. Without sprinting, I probably would have given up already. Why do they have a rocket in their yard? Do I get to keep that? Wait, there's only three or five items collected from the ground and I'm timed. Why does it put so much pressure on me to pick up crap? Is there more yard I'm not aware of? This is supposed to be a casual, like, enjoying game. I'm just stressed out so far. I'm not even talking proper English anymore. Okay, well, you know what? Three of five objects is going to be good enough. I'm pretty sure the lawnmower will find the remaining two. Now, with starting these things, it's basically the equivalent of starting a jet about ready for takeoff. You've got to hold Z to start the engine. Then you've got to manually throttle it all the way up because we're in a hurry. And then we get to drive it at high speeds. And then we're supposed to adjust the cutting height while also avoiding damaging the flowers or lawn while cutting quickly to earn a time bonus. I'm all about speed, that's why I bought the most expensive fastest mower. I'm pretty sure they want it between 6 centimeters. whatever the case, we're gonna start at 6 centimeters. My mower is on and we're in a hurry so we're gonna go for it. Okay, when I go too fast it gets mad, I think because I'm moving too fast and the lawnmower is overheating. I don't really know, we can even do this nice view so we can very carefully cut everything. I'm pretty sure the lawnmower isn't super big, so as long as I'm pretty much uh, following the wheels along, <laughs> it's gonna be just fine. But so far we've done 8% of the lawn and it's only been 90 seconds. I don't really need to have a good reputation, I just need to get paid very quickly for the jobs I'm going to do. Going for lap 2, how is that transition? Beautiful. And when I get confused about what I'm supposed to do, I press the left control, it glows white so I can, you know, find all the grass that needs to be cut still. And this seems to be about as good as it gets. I turned the sensitivity down a little bit because my guy is going to break his neck if I have to keep looking around like I am. But while we're getting used to this, uh, we're going to do the middle of the yard because there's probably less I can screw up there. I don't want to get too close to the edge because I'm going to mow over this poor guy's flowers. But if he wanted someone good, he should have hired basically anyone else. But at least I'll get it done in a hurry. I definitely still need to work on my cornering if we look all the way back because I'm missing strips every time I turn a corner. So we got to take it a little wider perhaps. Though I feel like we could probably miss those strips every single time and still do a pretty good job. We're about a third of the way done and it's been three and a half minutes. So it'll take us mm, a little over 10 minutes to get this done. But I feel like we're going to get faster as we go because we're just going to get better and better. Okay, I'm feeling confident now. We're going to go in tight to this guy's garden. That's how you do it. You just go in with full confidence and hope for the best and it's probably going to work out. And I think I actually did that pretty well, surprisingly. So while we're at it, let's take care of this little strip. And then just continue right back on where we were. I don't really know what to do when I get to this point now. So I'm just going to back up and hope that this is somehow efficient in some way. Uh, okay, we're, this is where things are going to get awkward because there's just no really efficient way to do this, so I'm just going to do it my way. We got to change things up. I'm going the other way now. We're going clockwise for the first time. Oh, look at this tricky little part. We got to get in near his garden, but not like into the garden. Might have clipped a few flowers there, but he probably won't even notice anyways. Uh, yep, it did just in fact tell me that I damaged his property, therefore I got fined for it. But I don't know what he wants me to do. Like, if I gotta get close to the garden, I gotta get close to the garden. We'll try it again here. Whoops. Nope, didn't get any flowers there, though. This is what happens when you drink too much coffee and then mow the lawn. That might have actually been not bad. I missed a big strip here somehow. So we'll take care of this while admiring what we just did to his garden. I'm gonna do a newly patented technique that no one does, probably for a reason. But I'm just gonna go back and forth in kind of a zigzag, and um, that's mostly gonna take care of this area. Again, it's not going to be pretty, but it's going to be done. Now to start on this whole other little side, but I think we could probably do this fairly easily. Got to be a little bit careful of his garden, but uh, ultimately I don't really care that much. I'm here to mow the grass, not take care of the flowers. And I refuse to let off this throttle at this point because I'm falling behind. I missed a whole strip over here and that somehow bothered me enough to come all the way over here to fix this. I don't know why I hadn't looked over here in a while. And we're back to just the regular, you know, big swaths of grass, and we're at 67%. I really just want a bigger mower at this point so I can mow more grass all at once. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a tricky maneuver because I've got to go kind of around the garden. So I'm just going to get in there tight all in one while I'm feeling confident. There, crushed it. Just got this last little bit to do. We're at 96%. Uh, we might have to clean up a little bit and maybe do between the arches because I don't think this little bit's going to be a full 3%. So we just got to very carefully kind of move in here without touching the bricks because that will hurt our lawnmower. 
I don't really know where the blades are. I assume they're like under the kind of black pad beneath my feet. But we're at 97%. Plus, I missed a little spot over here in the corner. So we're going to go ahead and take care of that. I don't know how much of the lawn he wants me to mow. I'm, what did I just damage? I damaged the ground? What do you mean I damaged the ground? How am I not supposed to damage the ground? I'm on the lawnmower. I guess I'm going to go and pick up every little scrap that I have left while trying not to damage the ground. While also using Pro Vision to try and find the biggest swaths that I've missed so I know where to actually cut now. 98% but I damaged the ground again. There must be like high points in the ground that he can't go over because the blades cut into them. But that's going to be really hard to see because I'm stupid and lazy. 98.7% we're so painfully close there's just those stupid little strips here and there that are going to make the difference. Only 0.1% left to go and now I know for next time that I need to be a lot more careful when I do this because it'll be a lot quicker if I just do it right the first time. Uh, we can take a few flowers with us if we have to. I'm sure he won't even notice they're missing. There we go. It said I can clean up any grass I have left behind the clippings. Um, I'm not really even cleaning up grass clippings type of guy. I just want to mow this thing and move on to the next one. So let's see if we can get it back up on the trailer. Good enough for me. So, looks like we made $332. Uh, we only have $3.44 in penalties, so I can be way more liberal with those. $2.50 in collisions. So, I guess we will perform maintenance on this. Okay, well at least empty the grass collector and refuel the tank, because why wouldn't we? And then I guess we're gonna go on to whatever's next. So this time we gotta do 99.5% of everything, which is slightly more. We gotta cut a height, uh, we'll do 7 centimeters, that way we don't have to burn that extra centimeter of wear and tear. Now there's 4 items hiding on the ground, we're gonna try and collect them all. There's one. I could see this other one from all the way across the map. And then there's one more apparently hiding right there. We got them all this time, we're getting better. Now we're gonna throttle it all the way up, and then we're gonna try and do a nicer job the first time around on this little lawnmower. But this is the, probably the best way to do it. So we'll activate the blades. Pretty sure they're on. We got the wrong cut height. There we go. We're cutting to seven, uh, I assume, centimeters. Then we're going to take a nice wide swath while probably taking a few of the flowers with us. But as we learned, we can afford it. We're going to be sure to try and get it all on the first go. So far, so good. This is just kind of my life now. Maybe this view is better overall. We're going to try this view for a little bit. This might be easier. It is somehow less satisfying, but I feel more confident about like where every piece of my mower is. Because before, I wasn't sure if I was in the garden or not. Are we Are we allowed to run the blades over this? No, oh, no one seems to care that we run the blades over that. So we'll just make big circles. The worst that could happen is we'll need to repair the blades. Now yeah, we're going to try and do this part kind of nicely, just so that I don't have to do it at the end and chase down every little piece of grass that exists. But yeah, you know what? This will work out better. This view is much better. And then I wanted to go back to this view. It's just more satisfying. And the other one is okay, but this one's just as good now that I know where the lawnmower sits. I thought I was doing so good, but I'm still seeing all the spots of the grass I've missed so far. But I will say I'm doing better than last time. I think we're on a pretty good pace. We've done 30% of the yard and it's only taken five and a half minutes. I think we're getting to that point there where we were going to have to circle the garden a few times just to give us a buffer space and then we can set our path again. Pretty much going to mow the garden at this point just to make sure we're getting it all. That's good enough for me. If they hired me, they get me results. I really want an upgrade that makes the mower wider though. If we could be twice as wide, we could be done twice as quick. This is another one of those games that is just really, really satisfying. You can just sit here and mow in circles all day long. The time would fly by. And I'm really glad that I could basically just mow the rocks and pretty much anything else without too much penalty, it seems. Because I'm just not in the mood for being super careful right now. I just want to mow. We're officially two-thirds of the way done. I think I just missed a huge strip, but we're 12 minutes in, so I think we're doing pretty good. I've been basically full throttle the entire time. Now we're going to do this circle the garden thing. We're going to do it left way this time, so hopefully that doesn't... Uh, involve me running over too many of the guy's flowers. We can't get every little strand. That's just a fact. Think we did a pretty good job. Now we have a little more space to play. I feel like it has blinked and we're up to 80%. Like that flew by. I'm still missing a few tufts here and there, but I'm pretty sure I'm doing like a 94% better job than last time. This is how I spend my time now. Cleaning graffiti and mowing lawns. But look at this. If I press the magic button here, nothing. There's no grass that I missed because I'm a professional like that. Then we got another tight little garden section here to do, and I'm really not worried about his flowers very much at all. He probably won't even notice if I run over like six of them. I don't think he's going to notice, and that's just more room for grass now anyway. He clearly likes the grass. Yeah, you know, it may as well even it out. I mean, I think it looks better. I'm starting to get lazy though, so I'm just doing this like back and forth technique. 
But the brilliant part is I don't even look backwards. I just run out of grass and then I go forwards again. It actually works out better than you might think. I don't know if there's like a proper way you're supposed to cut grass like directionally or not, but I don't really care. 91% done. And if I press control, not much left to do. We're on the final 10%. That makes it sound like it's so intense, but we're really just cutting someone's grass. Oh, this is going to be an awkward one. Look how tight it is. Going to have to make a few different passes here. Probably going to take a few flowers with this anyway, but sacrifices have to be made when you're cutting someone's grass. I'm pretty sure I did such a nice job on this. It, this little piece, like the piece we can physically see, is the last piece I need to cut. I shouldn't really have to chase around too much more. We're going to try something new. I'm going to reverse straight through the middle of whatever's left and then kind of divvy it up from there because this won't actually be too hard to do. 98.5%. We got 1% left to go. So I'm really hoping I can just do it in whatever grass is left. That's got to be 1% of the grass. That's got to be at least 1% of the grass. Yep, look at that number going down. We're going to use the reverse technique. Again, this really shouldn't work as well as it does. There's 99.3, 99.4. We don't even have to get this last little tuft. We can actually leave that entire thing, so we're going to. And then we're also going to do a victory lap. Because I want to see what this lawnmower can take down, okay? Nothing that big. We'll leave that strip to grow for next time. It's like a little accent piece. Then we're going to jump on here at full speed and be on our merry old way. And if you want to enjoy my fine work, why, take a look at this cinematic. Uh, just ignore that piece, it's still growing. That's, um, for the environment. So for that, we got 325 moon symbols. Uh, we did get 17 moon symbols in fines, $14 in flowers. So we lost about $32 in fines. That actually added up to about 10% of our money. So maybe we'll be a little more careful this time. But we did rank up and hopefully that means I get something new, like a new mower. Or I get my experience ended because that was it. I was really hoping I could at least buy a new mower or an upgrade. But I had fun. I don't know how long that took, but it was fun.